So our first few days of hunting here in Alaska has been truly amazing. Starting with the trip to get up here, to come to these remote places, and then getting out in the field with Josh and Mutz and getting our hands on our first couple of Sitka blacktails. And the great part of this hunt is it comes with two tags a piece. So we're not done hunting. We're gonna chase some bigger deer with no pressure. The weather looks a little bit better, so things should be great the next couple of days. omelets and then a little fresh Sitka blacktail heart on the side. Just a simple flour, salt, pepper dressing for it. Just kind of dredge it in there and then cook it in a little bit of butter. And Good stir. job. Butter yeah. makes life better. <laughs> yeah, it does. <laughs> I'd like to meet the guy who invented butter right? and shake his hand. Give him a big <laughs> hug. We're not going to go hungry this week, that's no. for sure. I may get tired of you, but... Well, that's a given, man. Five days, you know. Right, it's hot. Don't that's good. Burn yourself. There's the first batch. Okay. Okay, ready? Mm -hmm. He's dying. Oh He's going goodness. down. <laughs> that is really good. And hot. Yeah, I didn't think, you know, heart didn't sound all that appetizing to me. But <laughs> it's phenomenal. Tender. More tender than I thought. Yeah. Good stuff. Very good. So I love it up high, and those metals are beautiful, but when you get down into those humongous trees and all that green it's like you know my daughter's little stories about the fairies and things like that it's just I feel like one's gonna fly out of the tree in any second. It is, yes. That or a dinosaur is gonna walk yeah, out something like that. tree or something. So I've talked about it before here in southeast Alaska there's so many different landscapes. You're up high and you can see a long way and you get into some of these open meadows and it's beautiful but the real special part for me here in Southeast is that tropical rainforest right down low next to the water. Some of these huge trees and, you know, it's almost like a fairy-like village. I, you know, I hear the stories of my daughter's little fairies and all that, and you half expect some of them to come flying out of the trees. But I've mentioned to Mutt several times this week, I would love to find a deer down in there and really get to hunt Southeast the way I picture it. Swarovski Optic Quests is brought to you by Hornady. Accurate, deadly, dependable. Ram Trucks. Guts, glory, Ram. HS Precision Rifles. Engineered for accuracy. Tally Rings. The world's finest optics mounting systems. Camp Chef. And John Burrell's High Adventure Company. Walking through this muskeg and these huge trees, you, you try to be as quiet as possible and it is a little bit easier because the ground is so wet, but these deer absolutely come out of nowhere. Hang on, it's got a heavy face. Nobody move. Okay, yeah, it's a buck. My feeling is there's this trail right here. He's down. <laughs> I have wanted to shoot a deer in this kind of stuff since we've been hunting together. Good job, buddy. Well, we got set up, and I'm looking over here, and I'm like, all of a sudden, he's right there. That's 
Nice job, buddy. That's how this hunting happens. It's, you don't get a lot of time to look at them. It, this is awesome woods in here. Oh, it's so cool. It feels like you're in a fairy tale. Yeah, it's like, it's like a, it's a rainforest, yeah. right? Yeah, it's awesome. It was a close shot. It was a pretty heavy caliber rifle. And, you know, we knew the deer was hit good, but we just didn't want to run over there. And I think there was part of much. She already knew the deer went down and she went over to check. And Josh and I had no idea what was about to happen. What the heck? <laughs> hey, she's, she's fitting in nicely with us now. <laughs> you find her? Okay. You got us a little nervous. <laughs> As a side note, you've got to know Mutz. She's the most personable woman you will come across in your whole life. But when you get out in the field with her, she is all business all the time. You know, we have been talking about dinosaurs in this forest all week, so sure, it made sense. But when coming from Mutz, though, to see her making jokes like this was awesome. And that's the great thing about this week. You know, we're all pretty serious hunters and when we get out in the field, you, you know, you're, you have a certain seriousness to it, right? You're chasing deer, you're, you're in spots that things can go wrong, but the camaraderie between the three of us, the, the ability to kind of sit back and, and laugh at, you know, mostly ourselves, is really what makes this trip so special. What a beautiful animal. Awesome buck. Awesome. Oh, yeah. What a gorgeous animal. I never get tired of seeing these guys, especially in here. They're like little forest ghosts. Yeah, they totally are. That's such a cool deer. Yeah. What I notice the most is when I can come up here and shut my cell phone off and shut all those distractions off. You know, you're really kind of just immersed in it and, and you're immersed in the whole experience. And there's not many places that you can go anymore. And, and do that. Nobody to interrupt you, nobody to bother you, Isn't this, and it's peaceful. It's so quiet here, you don't hear a sound. Occasional bird. Yeah. yeah. I mean, look where we're at. We're in a temperate old growth rainforest that's been untouched. Yeah. The trophy is really in the whole experience. I mean, he's a mature buck for sure. He's not huge by any means, but unplugging for a few days and all that kind of stuff, that's really what it's about for me. It's a, it's a rarity you know, to be able to, to disconnect. And I think it's something missing in our society that, that people not only don't do it, but don't have the opportunity to do it. You know, emails are great, but folks expect them to be answered. And you just never reconnect with the things that matter and prioritize those things that, that need to be going on in your life. So it, it's good to be able to unplug and get away. Just look at this. These trees are unbelievable. Hundreds of years old. Thank you. That was super cool. So with my second tag build, it's certainly a sense of relief in a way, just that you're able to come up here and fill both tags. But on the same token, this is the kind of hunt you're just as excited to get back out in the field the next day with Josh to hopefully get him a second buck as well. Swarovski Optic Quests is brought to you by Hornady. Accurate, deadly, dependable. Ram trucks. Guts, glory, ram. HS Precision Rifles, engineered for accuracy. Tally Rings, the world's finest optics mounting systems. Camp Chef. And John Burrell's High Adventure Company. No deer, but I did see, you know, the song I got stuck in my head? Baby shark, 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 shark. Baby shark, 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 shark. Baby shark, 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 shark. Baby shark. Yeah, you're gonna break the seat. You're gonna break the boat. Okay, so maybe being unplugged totally with Josh for a week is not the 
best idea in the world. Hey, did you sniff a lot of paint as a child? I drank it. Yeah. Sniffing it took too long. Yeah. Gasoline. So here we are. It's been an amazing week, and you know, Josh let me shoot first this time because it was my birthday, but now we're down to the last day. And you know, you certainly feel a little pressure to fill the tag for Josh, but on the same token, it's been an awesome week to this point, and for sure, we're gonna find some deer on this very last day of hunting. If it's one thing I've learned over the years on these hunts, you're often up very early, you're up very late. So anytime you can catch up and get a little bit of a nap in the field is always a good time. When did you first start coming out here with your mom and dad? I think I was 10 days old, is what really? my mom said. She brought me out on the boat and I was 10, 10 days old. Days? Mm -hmm. I started going in the field every day with my dad when I was seven. I was homeschooled all along, and so I would get uh, buckled down and get school done so I could go. And I'd get up, get chores done, get school done, and then. Do this. And, then and go where did you grow up? On the boat. On the boat. On the Here, boat. doing this. You were on the boat? I was an introvert. I oh, gotcha. Animals were my friends more than people. That's great. Okay, can I eat my Cheetos now? I didn't want to like pull up my Cheetos. <laughs> I had my rib going out here. I was like, yeah, I should probably should put this back in the bag. <laughs> I haven't had Perfect. peanut butter and jelly in years. And... I love peanut butter and jelly on hunts. Mm. Oh, oh, mine's got an Oreo in it. <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> <laughs> oh, man, this is going to be awesome. Jack was telling me you had an extra special sandwich for me today. Well, see, there you go. There you go. Oh, my goodness. Good job. <laughs> I can honestly say I've never had a peanut butter jelly Oreo sandwich before. It's so nice on these hunts and especially this one just to be able to sit there, enjoy lunch, enjoy your time together, tell stories, you know, get to know each other a little bit more. It's, it's, it's one of those things that on these hunts, that's the stuff you really take away from it. You, you learn something more about a person and I find so many times six, eight, ten months, a years after these kind of hunts, you always can kind of pick up right where you left off because these kind of people you just want in your life as much as possible. So here we are last afternoon and we want to check this one little area and Mutt's hunting skills come into play so quickly. She scales up this tree to get a better view, like the little forest nymph climbing the tree. And you know, I certainly wouldn't want to see me or Josh even attempting to do what she's doing. Where's she at? Right back there. Okay, just wait, just wait. There's a buck with her. There's a buck with her on your left. I don't see him. I can just 
just see his head. Oh yeah, I see him. He's got him off right now. She's moving. She's coming home. Here he comes. Here he comes. Take him, John. Yes. Nice shot, Josh. Did he go down? Yes. He went down. I can't. I can't hold the gun up anymore. So just like one scripted it, it's getting dark. Josh had to hold that rifle for a good two or three minutes and he made an exceptional shot. I know Josh, I've known him a long time, I know how emotional he gets, so I knew after everything that just happened in the last five minutes, walking up on this deer was gonna be a special, special experience. <clears throat> Look at him. Oh, God. Oh, God. <laughs> Where do you see this, Doc? Where do you see this? Oh, Josh, that is an old, Dude. old deer. That was intense. <laughs> you think? I, I couldn't hold the gun up anymore. Stand there, we, he went by. I was on my knees and I couldn't see him. Stand I was up. dying. I'm like, <laughs> you could see him the whole time? Yeah. Oh my gosh. I could see the doe. Yeah. And you said it's behind the doe. And I'm like, okay, I see the doe. I don't see the buck. I held my gun offhand like this for like 75 minutes. Probably. Hey, I was cursing you a little bit. I'm going to an $800 tripod right there. Awesome. That is an old, old deer. He is a stud. <laughs> and then some. Oh my gosh. And then some. I tell you what, Mutz, to come up here and experience this type of hunt, be up here with Dean and you has been it's a pretty neat experience. Thank you. You're so welcome. That is awesome. Oh my gosh, dude. <laughs> Thank you. Hey. I love you, man. Awesome. Thank you. Awesome. Hey, Liz. So growing up in New England, I've had my fair share of seafood over the years, but being with Mutz this week, she's so knowledgeable on all the natural resources and everything that you can eat here in Southeast Alaska. This is the part I was so excited about to see where some of this food came from and get the chance to taste it. So right here, you see this narrow tail right here? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oop, a female is wide and more circular shape. Okay. Yep. And if you want to make them mad, just do a little squeeze. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. Hi. All right. Okay. More photo ops. He's kind of weird looking. He's what real, real hard shell, which means he'll be fabulous eating because he's full. If they're, if they're real light colored, yeah. they're, they've just molded and they don't have as much meat. He'll be good though. You want a bite out of him? I will eventually, once he's cooked. <laughs> awesome. How about that? So this is pretty cool. We caught these, the Dungeness. Dungies, yep. yep. Yeah. And then tonight we're gonna eat them fresh. I'd like to do one if I can. Yeah, I'll show you how. Okay, so you hold them upside down, grab all the legs and all the claws, kind of put your hands in there like that. Yeah. Then, grip a hold of them though, because you don't want them to suffer. So you just grab it and a quick yank. And, and the whole top comes off. Uh, whole top comes off. But see how I always have good grip on all the legs? Kind of cool. So, yep. taking them like this, right? Be sure and make him mad before you pick him yeah, up. Like Makes so, it extra huh? interesting. If they get you, it's not very pleasant. <laughs> He's a little more mellow. Why don't you do this one? All right. You want to grab all the legs and the claw. Okay. 
Okay, like that. Oh. So kind of get in a little bit. Pinch me. Like that. Uh huh. And then just pull. Hard. Nice. Good. And then, Good. Then, and then hold it, it over. Yep. And then split it, but hold it over the. Right in half. Yep. Perfect. There we go. Nicely Good done. Job. Look at that. Good. Well, that's the first time I've ever done that with a Dungeness. Ta-da! All legs still attached. So the total haul for this prolific trip was four really nice bucks, several Dungeness crab, and, and some other delicacies that you would only get to taste in Southeast Alaska. And for me, yes, it's the whole experience, but a lot of it boils down to how professional Glacier Guides is with Mutz and Zach. They're so knowledgeable about the area and what what to do and what not to do. It really makes this trip super safe and you feel comfortable and come back to this boat at night. It's just been a wonderful week. I saw the train. Well, Josh, what do you think, buddy? We're in Alaska. You shot your big deer. We're celebrating with tenderloin, Dungeness, and a few other goodies. <laughs> Awesome. Oh, yeah. That's really good. We should catch some more of these tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> these are trips like this. You truly do come out a different person. And to be up here, to take this entire experience and to be with these people and to put our hands on this magnificent wild animal. It's just the memories that will last a lifetime.